Have you got your, have you got your spoon? You, you need another spoon? Yeah. Okay, my wheat a bit. Your wheat a bit. I'll bring you your uh, breakfast. Breakfast? Yes. Everything? Yes. All, all what you ask for. Let's just make a few. Yeah. Right, so you've got a, a gruffalo spoon. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll just move that out of the way. Oh, it's okay. I'll get you it. Can mash it up. Oh, you want me to mash it up? Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Standards are slipping, aren't they? Hey? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Whoops. That's your shreddies. And I'll just get a cloth to wipe that, okay? Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry Done. Yeah, all gone. All gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, just is that all right, my sweet? Is it, was it on your hand? Okay. No. no. Okay. You're better now. I'll just put it on the back of your chair, just in case we need it. Right. So you got Weetabix, and you've got shreddies, and you've got um, strawberries and bananas. Strawberries not cut up. We just swap my wheat bits. Yeah, Grandma's gonna have wheat bits, same as you. We just swap to bits. It's what, darling? We just swap to bits. You just swap to bits, don't worry. Did Miss Ham get go from a bit wet? Is it on the chair? Yeah. Okay. But get it to wet. I'll get, I'll get it for you, yes. Second grandma's got grandma's got the same. Grandma's got wheat bits as well. We got two. Yeah. Yep. Follow granddad. I'm going to choose. And you're gonna get something for mummy? What would you like to get for mummy to take home? Does mummy like what about the what about cookies, darling? Do you think she'll like cookies? Yeah. What ones do you think mummy? I want this one. You think mummy'd like a cake? I want the chocolate one. You'd like the chocolate one? Okay, sweetheart. Do you want to put it in your trolley? Yeah? They have a cookie. You want a okay, go on then. He's coming round. Yep, that's it. Oh, I didn't realise they did all those as well. Oh, we need some milk as well. And milk! <laughs> um, oh, yes, we need some rolls. Good thinking. Um, what should we get? Could you get the blue milk, please? For me? Yes. Do you want? Uh, just one, please. For me? Yep, that's... Oh, careful! <laughs> right, and we need... Oh, do we need a yoghurt as well? What yoghurts would you like? Would you like these ones? Or do you, well, I don't know whether I should give. I don't think I should give you that one. 
Yeah, that one. Okay, okay. Don't... Have, All I'll right, put it in there. We'd have it at Grandy's house, yes? Yeah, look, I'll have it there. Whoops, careful. And what else do we need? Um... Sweet tea. Okay, okay. Let's have a look for the sweet teas. Oh, okay. And I think we're going to get a pizza as we're on the move today. Can you find a pizza? Okay, sweetheart, you can have those. You'll have enough to take home, okay? Yeah. Right, we just need to find a pizza. Okay. Right, no, no fish fingers, uh, no pizza. Are you okay with that? You take it to Grandad, fish fingers for your tea. We're eating. Okay, go and find Grandad, you don't need to pay for them. Grandy. This is good fun. <gasps> wow. So you're getting everything out to make a card. Benjamin? How about a wheel? We got everything to get the card. What about a wheel? Let them go at the side of the barn. Oh. What's that? I think it's Jed coming up the stairs. Is it? Is that the noise for Jed? There you go. There's your new seat. Benjamin might have seen this, will he, Mum? He's on his chair. He's on his chair. Can you see? Can you see him? No. no? He's coming. One thousand. Mama. I'm here, my darling. Benjamin? Robbie? Can you see Jed? Why is it going to the bathroom? Why do we have to go to the bathroom, darling? To do a wee-wee. To do a wee-wee. <laughs> yeah. Time to get up. You're ready to get up, are you? Mm -hmm. Whoop. Careful. Oh, oh, look. What about a goose? Look. I think you might like this one very, very, oh, very much. Oh, I wonder what Grandy's got for you. A tractor. A tractor, your favourite. Daddy got one, Dee. Oh, Grandy's got a red one. Yeah, he has, hasn't he? Yeah. He had um, <laughs> Grandad at court to nine the other week. <laughs> In his pajamas, um, um, driving round, um, cutting the grass. It's granddad in the pajamas, not Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Laura and I were laughing our heads off. That was so funny. What are you doing? <gasps> wow! Did you sort all those out? Oh, lovely! They're really lovely, aren't they? Oh, I love the tractor. We put the tractor on now. You put the tractor on, are you? Right, you want me to help you? So, what's she doing? I'm vlogging. Hello. 
afternoon, good evening. It is oh, it's ten to six. <laughs> Benjamin's uh, just gone in the last hour. I hope that you enjoyed the footage that came before. Um, one of the things that is surprising when you do Vlogtober is remembering to pick up the camera and being surprised by the insignificant things that um, you capture, like his breakfast this morning. When he's at home, he has what's put in front of him. And when he comes to mine on a Thursday and his other grandparents on a Friday, he has us making him all kinds of things. So he always has three breakfasts when he comes to my house. He has Weetabix, normally shreddies or there's like I have like a cornflakey cereal it's not like a special K like knockoff Aldi knockoff special K and um, he normally has like some fruit so this morning he gave me his order oh my word I don't know where like where he put it and he polished that off and then we had to go shopping we went obviously went to my mum's which you will have seen and I said we would bring something to eat and my husband had made this a gorgeous soup um, on what's day Thursday so he must have made it yesterday because we've decided that we're going to go back to having once or twice a week like a snacky tea um, in the sense of perhaps like a soup and some fresh bread or um, like a jacket potato that kind of thing so we'd had the boys Monday we'd had um, like roast gammon like in the slow cooker and so we made this so we took that with us and um, we just went to get a cake when I was watching the footage, it looked as if, well it was, as if I was buying him all this like sweet stuff, which I was, and we don't do that with him. Um, but yeah, I think he also had me wrap around his little finger as to what he was going to have. So he had a third of a cookie in the car, he insisted on eating the car, I don't normally let them eat my car, but he had that. And then when we got to my mum's, he didn't want the soup, and I'm not sure whether he actually eats soup, I forgot to ask. So he had a brioche roll. <laughs> so his uh, chocolate, I never buy him sweets. And he says sweeties, but he doesn't like sweeties. He only likes chocolate and he only likes white buttons. And they probably have half a dozen. He's like no other child. And he's done. And that's it, you know, or three or four. And he's done. And he's quite happy. And they'll last him for weeks, <laughs> those um, chocolate buttons. And where that yogurt went I have no idea I picked it up and I felt quite guilty because it's yeah not the healthiest thing but yeah, it's disappeared so I'm just gonna have to go and check my car that it didn't fall out in the boot um yeah so prob my husband will probably eat it um but it was so nice like just to go to my mum's and to share a meal with her we haven't eaten together since pre like covid it was just lovely just lovely um, it was so lovely like to be up in a craft room and to capture that moment with her and Benjamin. He was born about six months before COVID hit, but it was at the time when you know, he could like sit up and look around. And of course, when he went out, everybody was wearing masks. So he, he's not the only one. There's lots of children. Um, when you speak to somebody or have a conversation or just in general you're looking at people's uh, faces like all the all the time um and he lost all that so he is quite shy his mum is, is shy anyway she was always like a, a fairly quiet child not like a sister <laughs> fred is exactly like his mum um so yeah that was a big thing for him to to do today he only still only goes to like our house other grandparents' house and um, his 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 aunties and that is occasion that is occasionally so yeah big big thing he's like done FaceTime and the videoing and all that kind of thing but it's not the same as being in the same room so he is shy and you're best just to leave him oh but was he in his element in that craft room I could like just see all these little fingers so my mum was so lovely like just getting everything out and showing him and yeah she'd found this tractor for him which he's absolutely crazy about. And uh, so it was lovely. It was lovely. Um, and my stepdad has to use a, a I was going to say stair gate. It's not a stair gate. A, a stanner. Is it a lift chair thing that goes up and down? <laughs> so he used that. And it's things like he didn't, he'd never seen one before. He didn't know what it was. Um, and he wouldn't go on it. He was offered like a ride. And, no, I mean, Fred's been round and like he'll go up and down all day. <laughs> but it was just lovely. We had just the best day best day but he refused yeah because I was trying to get him a pizza I said to his mum what can I get him to put in the oven quickly 
and she suggested a pizza. We could get a pizza for love, not money. So we got fish fingers. We thought, yep, fish fingers and baked beans. So Mr. Jackson and I can have um, a fish finger sandwich on white bread. <laughs> oh, how we live, how we live. Um, but he refused point blank to have any tea. And when I've been looking at the footage, when I've been editing, I thought, yeah, don't suppose you want it. With all that breakfast that he had and, um, you know, his brioche bun. He had half of mine, half of his granddad's. I think he had a bit of my mum's as well. So we put it all together. He did a whole one. But it was just so lovely. So lovely. Um, yes, and happy National Poetry Day. I don't know if there's any of you out there that um, like poetry. When I went back to uni, when I was a mature student, um, we had to do poetry. I specialised, my specialism was English. I did a teaching degree and English was my specialism. And I'd always said, oh, yeah, I'm not really into poetry, but you know what? Love it. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm brilliant at it. I, you know, got good marks and everything at um, uni and I was able to teach you know, poetry models. So last year I was thinking, what do I do? How do I get into poetry? And I bought this. I just might have seen it on somebody's vlog or YouTube or something. So it's a poem for every day of the year. I hope that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, some I like and some I don't like. So I thought I'd read you a poem today. It's not very, it's not very long. I'm not reading the poem for today because it's um, from the is that Tyndale Bible? I don't even know what that is. That's that. Well, I'll probably get caught for. Well, would I get caught for? I might have to edit that bit out. Um, so I'm going to read you yesterday's, which is autumn, and it's by T. E. Holm. Um, and that each poem, there's a bit of blur before it, so it sort of puts it into perspective for you. So it says, Holm's poem on autumn stands out as an exemplar of the modernist movement in poetry, written in free verse, without rhyme and leaving the reader to make sense of its images. What kind of meaningful exchange can occur between the solitary walker and the bright night sky? So are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? A touch of cold in the autumn night, I walked abroad and saw the ruddy moon lean over a hedge like a red faced farmer. I did not stop to speak, but nodded, and round about were the wistful stars with white faces like town children. Oh, I like that one. So I hope you liked it. <laughs> so I was going to get the yeah, my poetry books out for the kids. I've got a couple of like rhyming books um, for them. And I've just come in and there's a parcel on the door. So I'm going to look forward to reading, flicking through this. So this is a Jelly Roll Quilts the classic collection and it's by Pam and Nikki Lintot. I have heard of them. So for those of you that are quilters, you'll know what it is, but it's like a Jelly Roll, which is like the strip width of the fabric and it's about two and a half inches. And if you have the whole of them, let me go and get one. I'll just go and see one I prepared earlier. So this is a Jelly Roll. And that's what it looks like and you can make a quilt out of that and if you want it larger you can add different um, colours in there yeah so my daughter gave me that she had a big clear out but I'm thinking maybe I'll make her a quilt and gift it back <laughs> yeah I need to see if it's like the colours that she would like she has a lounge I like that colour really nice Yes, well, I'm going to enjoy looking at this. I don't know if any of you have got them. I've got this book. And there's another one, uh, Bargello. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Lovely. So I'm going to sit down and, uh, yeah, I'll look at that. I'll show you, it would help, wouldn't it? So you can see where I am. I'm feeling a bit stressed about Alfie's jumper um, because it's supposed to be, the back's supposed to be finished on Saturday. I gave myself a week to do everything. I gave myself a little talking to this morning. I've been out every single day and two nights I've been busy. Monday I had the boy staying and then, yeah, Tuesday went to the theatre. So I gave myself a little bit of talking to and I said, look, it's the back 
and the front are the work the sleeves you're going to be able to do quite easily so I might yeah carry on I'll carry on with the back and then I think I'm going to start sleeve I was going to do back front and then two sleeve two sleeves consecutively so I need to calm down <laughs> so my, yeah so I hope that you've had a good day today whatever you've been doing and the weather hasn't been too bad for you and I'm going to say good night and I'll see you in the morning and maybe maybe we could have 11 z's together is that a date yeah okay bye my lovies and I'll see you in the morning bye <laughs>